We're gathered tonight to talk about the sacred bond between the United States and Israel, and it's a bond that's in serious trouble. There's never been anything like it. tonight to talk about the sacred bond between the United States and Israel, and it's a bond that's in serious trouble. There's never been anything like it. I believe that we are closer to World War III than at any time in the history of this country since the Second World War. There's never been anything like this period of time that we're going through, and we have leaders that are grossly incompetent. They have no idea what's happening. Tonight, we honor the memory of all who lost their lives in the October 7th attacks, and we pray to God that Israel will redeem their deaths with ultimate victory over those who wish to destroy it. Israel will be faced not just with an attack, but with total Annihilation, and I hate to say it so much, it's total annihilation. That's what you're talking about. You don't have a protector. You have a big protector in me. You don't have a protector on the other side. And I've said long and loud, anybody, and especially over the last few years, anybody who's Jewish and loves being Jewish and loves Israel is a fool if they vote for a Democrat. But beyond, beyond that, beyond that, if they love Israel, anybody that votes for a Democrat or Kamala, especially, because this is the worst ever, this is the worst you've ever had. This one makes Barack Hussein Obama look like he loved Israel by comparison. But you should have your head examined. They've long dreamed of making all of this come true, and if Kamala Harris wins the election, her weakness and incompetence, she's grossly incompetent. Look, she can't do an interview, okay? And let me tell you, I won that debate by a lot. I, by a lot. My message today is very simple. If you want Israel to survive, you need Donald J. Trump as the 47th president of the United States. It's a very simple message. Very, very simple, right?